Hello there. Are you having a nice fall? I know I am. What better way to celebrate fall than to do more trying videos? Because it's the return of an insidious force, one that you should know well. Polar water. My sister was kind enough to bring the fall seasonal flavors back from Massachusetts, because Lord knows Pennsylvania isn't cultured enough to market these things. So five new flavors. I'm pretty sure that they're new. I don't think any of these have been tried before. Only one way to know for sure, that's to go back and check the other video. Have you watched it? Have you watched it? Suffice to say, we've got five new things, we hope. And the first one that's on the docket is pomegranate apple. I don't have to share this with anybody. You see, it smells fantastic. And it is light and crisp, borderline refreshing. But as usual, the smell just outdoes the, the, the flavor part. Prickly pear and citrus. You can smell a whole lot of citrus. Now, in fairness, I have very vague memories of what prickly pear is supposed to taste like, but that one wasn't particularly convincing. Concord Clementine. Now that sounds like a sangria flavor that you'd catch at a winery or something, I don't know. And in fairness, it does smell like clementines. Even tastes mostly like clementine. And I do get that hint of Concord grape just there at the edge. So good job, Polar, that one actually worked out. Cranberry Bramble. Now I've got really high standards for cranberry wine, so quite frankly, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like this. But, you never know, I'm always open to be surprised. You know, it's not terrible. And last, but certainly not least in the naming department, is Upside Down Plum. What a name. What a flavor. It doesn't taste like much of anything, really. But it smells kind of like a starburst. So for the round of fall seltzers, I'm going to have to give the award to Concord Clementine for at least matching the flavor information on the label. Cranberry Bramble also is not terrible, so that's an okay second pick. I don't think I can recommend Upside Down Plum. Polar, take note of my review, for my opinion will eventually guide consumers to either embrace you or destroy you. There is a sponsorship somewhere in our future together. And just quickly, I want to say, as always, thanks for your support. I know that production schedules have kind of been very wonky the last few weeks or months, but we're working on it. And we hope that you'll continue to stop by the channel to check out all the things that we're doing here, as well as on the convention circuit. That's all I've got for this video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now. Go out in the woods today. <laughs> oh, let's not start that now. I am a walking liability in this game. I get the feeling somebody is... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, move, move, you idiot! What the fuck?